Hey everyone, this is Quantic Gaming here, and I'm back with more Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. And last time I was here, I managed to complete the Magic Crafters world, and now I'm in the Beast Makers world. Now I'm wondering where if this is where now there's a bit of a joke coming up here. I wonder if this is where they they if this is the hometown of uh, Brock Lesnar because you know the Beast Incarnate Beast Maker where they make the beasts. Nah, I'm just kidding about that, right? Now those enemies can be dangerous because they uh, charge up the platforms there, like I mentioned in, in the last time when I was rescuing that dragon to save the game right there. And uh, YouTube user Joji4567 said that I've been needing a lot of lives for this world. Well, what I'll do is, oh no, jump out of there. Alright, and turn around. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to take my time on this and try not to die as many times. Now, from what I understand, to get to the final world, you need to get 50 dragons. Now, if that's the case, then I'm well on my way to getting 50 because when the last time I looked at the, uh, when it was loading my game for this, I've got 47 dragons. So I've got three more dragons to go effectively until I complete the game, but I'm still going to try and explore the levels thoroughly to uh, complete the game or rescue Cletus. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. Oh really? Is that all you had to say, Cletus? I was expecting you to be send a little like you know like Cletus and the Simpsons. Speaking of the Simpsons, uh, I've seen on their Facebook page that they've got a Lego themed episode coming up. I think that's their 550th episode. It's hard to to believe that. Oh God. Screw you. Right. It's hard to believe that- oh great, I don't have any more sparks with me. That's just brilliant. Got to flame whatever comes around this corner then. Okay, then, right, well I need to get... I'll need to see if I can try and get more sparks. Because this isn't, this isn't good. Oh, Alice, what's down here? I mean, that's a... Is that another dragon I can hear? No. Oh, that's another flight level. Okay, I'm not interested in that. Okay, go back up. Oh. Okay, why is this moving? Oh, there we are. Oh, it was moving there for a second. The... The flight path. Okay, I'm not going to these levels yet. Right, take you out. Yeah, as I was saying about The Simpsons, uh, they've got a Lego themed episode coming up for their 550th episode. It's hard to believe, in my opinion, that The Simpsons are still going, uh, despite, like, like, ever since I think they made the movie back, like, that was like 2007, that was seven years ago. It's hard to believe that. Okay, got one Sparks, that's good. Okay, get you, so I can get some extra protection. Now remember Georgie4567 said that I'll need the extra, uh, the lives that I can for treetops. So I've got five lives. So I'll do my best to, to keep those lives and not stupidly waste them over obvious deaths. Okay, yeah there's another electric path up there. I'll jump up here, wait for that guy to stop. And then, there we are. Got him, and then wait for him to stop. Oh great, bad timing. It's all about the timing, Kieran, all about the timing. You're a musician, you should know this. <laughs> yeah. It's like I always say that to myself, whenever I get timing wrong in video games, I'm thinking I should be ashamed of myself. If I can't get timing right in games, then music is like, whoa, 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 right. There we are, right. There go. There we are. Now, I'm trying to think how many gems are in this? 300? And I got the two dragons already. Oh well, then I'll just go around what I can do to collect the sparks and get them all fully. Uh, there we are. Uh, what does the balloonist have to say? I feel sorry for all the dragons still trapped in crystal. Maybe once you rescue 50 dragons, I'll feel a little better. Oh, stay here, obviously. I haven't rescued 50 yet. 
I've nearly f rescued 50, but after I've rescued 50, I'm still going to carry on and rescue more than 50. Alright, there's a key over there, right, let's see if I can... Alright, no, go back. I'm going to see if I can glide over and get that key. Or am I even going to make that? I don't know. Nah, I don't know if I'm going to make that. I need to reach the top of that platform, like, up there. Oh, if I can get the camera to turn around. I need to reach up there in order to get to that key, but to be honest, it really doesn't matter, so... Let's run around some more and see if there's anything I missed. Alright, forget the treetops, I'll go to that later. I do like the music for this world though, it's uh, quite good. It could, be, it could prove to be inspirational for me one day. Okay, I'm just going to go to the first level, which is uh, Terrace Village. And I'll go 4,209 treasure, that's quite a lot. A lot more than I expected to collect actually, to be perfectly honest with you. Alright then. Okay, get rid of you. Oh yeah, some of the enemies in, in this level can be very annoying, especially these guys in the green. Right, these ones aren't particularly annoying, but... Uh, these ones... Let me see... Yeah, these ones can be very annoying. Yeah, you need to really charge them in order to get rid of them. Like that. Because if you stall around for too long, they'll uh, shoot electricity at you, and you don't want that to happen. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot to not charge into him, but charge into you, however, give it to you. Alright, there's another one, or another two, should I say. Ah, that's good. That's quite good. Right then. So, give it to you. Well, maybe I could have saved you for later, but it doesn't matter. I took out both both of them anyway, so that's that's all that matters. I talk, talked about The Simpsons, and now that's called Terrace Village, so it's not Evergreen Terrace Village. There's no Simpsons characters in this level? Oh well. I know, I keep talking about The Simpsons in this. Oh, you thought you could charge your laser or whatever you had at me. Didn't happen. Oh, there's uh, some... Thanks for sparks. Alright, give it to you. See, that looked like the normal green enemy that you would see in, like, the first homeworld, the artisan homeworld. In that shielded uh, electri electricity uh, weapon that he had. Okay then, so keep going across here. There's some more treasure. As far as it goes for the other Spyro games, like I said before, I'm planning to do less plays of them as well, but to be honest, I'm not moving on to Spyro 2 straight after this, because I want to get a feel for Spyro 2 before I start less playing it on exactly what to do in it. I know that from what I understand you've got to collect orbs, and instead of like rescuing dragons, so right, let's rescue you, that's Claude. Watch out Spyro. Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Oh, I know that, Claude. I know that for a feeling. Speaking of st st stinging, though, I've never been, like, well, shocked by electricity or anything, well, but I've never been stung by, it. what is it, bees or wasps or anything? Well, not yet, anyway. It's probably bound to happen at some point, but I have no idea how on earth it feels, so... Ah! See, like that, I'll that's why I don't like those enemies, because, like, they, they can shield themselves from, uh... Alright, charge at you. There we are. But yeah, I've never been stung by, like, a, a bee or a wasp, like, ever in my life. Aha! That's what you use the rocket for, to destroy those, uh, chests. Alright, there's another one of those guys. And... go! Ah! Well, that's kind of annoying, that, but it doesn't matter. Right, give it to you. Oh god, right. No. That was quite close. I actually thought I was going to be shocked of electricity again. I was 
I thought I was gonna get the uh, electrified. Right, rescue Cyprian. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Alright then, that's 50 dragons rescued. Now that's all I need to get to the next world, however, I'm still going to carry on rescuing dragons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, I've rescued the, the... there was only two dragons. Alright, that's quite surprising. Alright, get rid of you. That was quite close actually, I've got to be careful with the charge sometimes, because I remember sometimes not using the charge like that. Oh my god! I just keep going, go, go! Oh my... Oh! Ah, oh, that was bad luck. Oh well, let's get that life replaced. Alright, there we go, right. So I've got that life back. And I could probably get some more lives so I get them by getting the orbs from enemies I've gotten gems from. Right, wait. Now the lag doesn't seem to help for this. Okay, wait. Oh great, no. Ah! That doesn't help at all. The lag in this game just tends to be given as advantage and disadvantages. That's the thing about lag in general. It can be helpful and sometimes it can be not very helpful in the slightest. Alright then, so 217 gems. Let's go up here. Alright, there's more... Uh, might as well hop over to this bit. There we are. And get this. And there's the exit portal. A uh, head bottom, right in the head. Meeting in the mines right there. Oh, I'll get that again. And get the yellow gem. And that's pretty much it. So well, 269 treasure, okay, I think that's all I need to be honest. I'm just gonna leave. My only concern is rescuing the dragons and that's it. Any treasure I can find would be very good, but... Yeah, my commentary seems to be better today. I, I'm not as choked up as I was the last time when uh, recording, what was it, Crash Team Racing? And Sonic Adventure. So, right, okay, so let's go to the next level. Okay, let's get rid of you. Oh, you feel you're gonna charge into me? Well, I used a dirty tactic. Fire always prevails. Alright, Misty Bog. I remember this level as well. This is the one where it had the, uh, what was the enemies? The enemies were moved towards you and they would eat you. Alright, if I go back here, I saw something there. Uh, there's a chicken trapped in that cage. Now, what? That's cruel irony over there. It's like we rescue the, the chicken there. I think that's a chicken. Rescue the chicken and then we just kill it anyway. That's cruel irony there. Oh, see, like that. They can move towards you like that. So, the best way to do is to give them a dose of fire. Make sure you eat something that you're. you're well. You can have a very hot meal and that's fire only. You're not going to have any dragons. Okay, I somehow ended up popping up here for some reason. Okay, let's glide over here. Oh right, okay, I don't know if I've triggered any enemies or anything. No, not yet. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah, those enemies are very annoying because they can stick their tongue out of you. Oh, right, okay. Good, they never they never got me with their tongues. They've got very long tongues that can hit you, which can take away your health, which is quite annoying, but I didn't let them hit me. I would, they were very close to hitting me, actually. Alright, let's go around the back here, because I know there's some treasure here. And another life. This place is full of lives. They're probably just... Uh, Save them, or they're probably just uh, pre preparing me for the treetops level. Okay, get rid of you. Alright, which one is gonna go first? Which of you should be willing to fall victim to my fire? You? 
and then it'll be you. Okay, 121. And let's rescue you. Roscoe, Roscoe McQueen. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Well, you know, not all swamps are very nice. I'm just saying that now. And, well, well yeah, that's what I say. I mean, sw swamps aren't, like, always nice. Oh, yeah, and those guys have got, like, knives in their hands that can be very dangerous. Alright, then there's another dragon over here. I destroyed this cage. I mean, this trap look really poor. <laughs> It's like the guy was going to trap the chicken and then I destroyed his trap and the chicken was like, What? What happened? I was supposed to get trapped here. Why am I not trapped? Ah! Don't like those frogs. Oh, this is where the game's probably going to start to lag because there's a lot of... Ah! Oh! Just flame everything I can see in sight. Ah, oh, great. Okay, I'll take I'll take the hits as long as I can get through this bit. All right, you're left. All right. All right, I didn't die. That was quite a surprise. But I lost all my sparks though. Rescued Damon. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I remember. Uh, gotta go. Yeah. There's always that. You always get those dragons that are going to be like, Oh, I remember back when I was your age, and like, yeah, it's... It's always good to hear their stories, but in this game, not not particularly. But in general, it, it would be good to hear their stories. Alright then, so, oh, right, okay, yeah, I'm going completely the wrong way, and as I bump into a wall for good measure. Jump up. One of the classes I'm nearly finished with in the college course I have is uh, community music. Uh, I finished writing an essay for it, and basically I was just writing about uh, sessions that I had, like uh, with working with children in a primary school, a local primary school that's near near where I live, and. It was pretty good. The primary school sessions were good. Like uh, we were showing like children. Uh, well, I wasn't alone. Like I was. Oh no, I died. As soon as I talk about other topics, I die. Of course, it's always going to be that way, isn't it? It's like you talk about other topics. Like I pause to see what else I could talk about, and then I die. Is like the game saying, "No, you must talk about Spyro only. No other topics allowed." But, like okay, game. <laughs> right. Anyway. Let's go back. Take you out and take you out. How many lives do I have? Uh, okay, yeah, I can pause. Right, seven. Right, I still got some lives left, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna need to make my way back across. Yeah, sometimes I'm going to be, need to be careful with these controls because, as you know, like, I'm not really... Well, I am used to Spyro controls by now because I've played the game uh, for quite a bit now. And what I can say about Spyro so far is a really good game. I don't know about the other Spyro games, so I have seen them being played like before, like I said. But I'm not sure what everyone else thinks of the Spyro games. Alright, yeah, take you out. And you. The enemies can be very quick in this as well. They can quickly attack you. Alright, get that and that. And there's the last dragon, I think. Rescue Zeke. Thank you for releasing me. That's no problem, Zeke. I'm glad I helped you out. Alright, so let's carry on. Oh, right, and oh, take your Alright, let's get some space. 
take you out.